on this case. What's changed, Randy? Hey guys, this indictment came down earlier this afternoon. Hassan Choker facing charges that could land him in federal prison for years. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you support the state, uh, state of Israel? On top of facing ethnic intimidation charges for threatening people outside a Jewish synagogue in Bloomfield Hills, Hassan Choker is now under federal indictment, accused of being a felon in possession of a firearm and lying on a federal firearms form. He tried and failed to buy a rifle, shotgun, and handgun at a Dearborn gun shop after that incident at the synagogue. There were three questions that were specifically asked that the individual answered falsely, and that's what calls for a denial from the Nix section. Nix is the national instant criminal background check system that everyone undergoes when they try to purchase a firearm at a gun range, gun shop, or from other federal firearm licensed dealers like James Robinson. Given this situation, it's a plain and simple example of not putting firearms in the wrong hands. The 35-year-old Dearborn man was petitioned for mental health treatment in 2021, convicted of a felony in 2017, and has several other felony charges hanging over his head, all of which bars Choker from buying firearms. He faces a max of 10 years in prison and a quarter million dollar fine if convicted of either of those two federal charges. The December incident in Bloomfield Hill struck a nerve in the Jewish community and provided a stark example of the rise in anti-Semitic confrontations. I mean, in some ways, you know, an act uh, such as this one at Temple Bethel, it was shocking, uh, yet unsurprising. Sam Dubin is the assistant director of the Jewish Community Relations Council and American Jewish Committee. He says all aspects of the criminal justice system work to protect the public from Hassan Choker, and they too are working to address anti-Semitism. When this happened, we really focused on our interfaith work, our our work with, with the Christian community, with the black community, with the Muslim community. So we always saw what we're doing in our interfaith work as an antidote to this hate and vitriol. Now, in addition to the federal charges and the ethnic intimidation charges in Oakland County, Choker is also facing charges right here in Wayne County. For now, he remains locked up in the Oakland County Jail on a $1 million bond. I'm Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge.